Hi, this is Andrew with PandaComputers.com, and welcome to our video series on Windows XP. This is a quick tip, and we're going to talk about this, about toolbars in our Internet Explorer. Now, this is specific to Internet Explorer. It does not cover Firefox or any other browsers. What is a toolbar? Well, let me show you here. I'm going to click on my Internet Explorer, and a toolbar is something at the top that basically creates a bunch of quick links or does something for us on our Windows. Now, one of the big problems I have out here is I have people come in and they say, well, my internet's so slow and it takes so much time, and I'll pull it up and they'll have five bars. Now, I've got three here, and I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you something. Understand when you start your internet, if you don't have that powerful of a computer or it's not very fast, see every one of these little icons here? Every one of those is pulling a connection out to the internet, and that can make it very, very memory intensive. We have a Norton toolbar, an Ask toolbar, and a Google toolbar. Now, if you want one or two that you actually use, keep them. A lot of times these get installed by trickery, or some other program will install and add it, or hey, here's a free program, and oh, we're going to add this bar. You get in a hurry, you don't read the fine print, and all of a sudden this toolbar shows up. So how do we get rid of them? How do we deactivate them? Well, two ways. Number one, you need to deactivate them from Internet Explorer, and then if you really don't want it there, you need to go uninstall them from Windows. How do you do that? You go into Control Panel here, Settings. You click on Add and Remove Programs right, uh, right here, and you actually uninstall the toolbar. You make it go away. Okay, that's the best way to get rid of it permanently. Okay, but maybe you just want to deactivate it to make your thing run faster. Now I'm not going to wait for this to complete here. I've got a lot of programs on this machine. But you uninstall the toolbar, uninstall the Ask Bar, the MSN Bar, whatever it is. Now, first of all, Norton in my antivirus has Safe Web and Identity Safe. Now, I really don't need those options. I'm pretty savvy on the internet. I don't have kids or family, and that does slow down my internet connection. So, see the little X right here? I'm going to click on it. Boom. And the first thing that's going to come up and says, "Do you really want to disable this add-on?" Internet toolbars are add-ons to our laptop. Uh, our, excuse me, our, our Internet Explorer. They add function to our machine. We'll talk more in depth about add-ons later. We just click. Check mark both of them and say yes. I do not want to use these right now, and hit disabled, and it goes away. Same thing with my ask bar. I don't want the ask bar. Disable it from Nero. Hide it. Disable it. Make it go away. Uninstall the toolbar permanently. I don't like it. It got installed with the program I installed. I click OK. And are you sure you want to uninstall this program? I hit yes. It's uninstalling the ask bar, making it go away. Now, once I do this, it says I need to close Internet Explorer. Uh, to, to finish it. So what it's saying here, if I read it, is my Internet Explorer is open. So I got to close the Internet Explorer, click OK for it to finish uninstalling. It can uninstall it while the toolbar is active. Okay. So it takes a couple of seconds here. It'll uninstall the Ask Toolbar and it will go away. That's how you uninstall toolbars from Internet Explorer. Now we'll wait for this to finish really quickly. Eight seconds, a few seconds, boom, boom, it's done. Great. Double click on my Internet Explorer. Now, see, it's a lot less here. The other thing that really irritates me, if you have too many toolbars, see, it came up a lot faster, is it'll take a lot of real estate. I mean, I've had people come in here, and they've had like eight toolbars, and like half their windows being blocked off. I have less connections to the Internet. It's, my computer is more efficient. This is what's called the favorite bar here. It's a toolbar. If I go over here, I do a right click. Um, up here, see, menu bar, favorite bar, and it'll be like Norton and Google and everything else. Well, I like the Google toolbar. I do use functions on there. But I don't need the favorites bar, so I click the little check mark, it goes away. Okay. And I could have just come up here and unchecked the ask bar and the Norton bar here, and it would have gone away. But it wouldn't have uninstalled it out of my machine. If I'm never going to use it again, uninstall it. Keep it clean, keep it simple. There you go, my browser is clean, I've got lots of room. This is how we get deactivate or activate toolbars on Internet Explorer. Now, to activate a toolbar, you simply go to Google, you type it in. Like, say, I didn't have the Google toolbar and I wanted it. I type it in, I download it, I install it, it'll show up automatically. This is Andrew with Panda Computers. This is Toolbars in Internet Explorer. Have a great day.